and it's dope to see um, how to stop him. Um, that's a that's a great player over there. So it's gonna be a full team effort. Hey man, Luca, uh, making sure that we're alert, uh, making sure that we're back in transition, and uh, and, and do the best we can. It's dope. That's Jalen Brown on Kyrie Irving as a teammate, having a guard up in this series. Thanks to Boston Celtics sound there. John Sabachetti joins us now, the co-host of the Pick and Roll podcast at Jet Sap. You can follow him on John Sap 25. John, before we dive into this series, I am curious because you're up there in the Northeast, your thoughts of Danny Hurley leaving Connecticut, possibly taking this L.A. job. Do you think this could happen? I don't think it's going to happen only because I don't think LeBron James wants that to happen. Obviously, he wants J.J. Redick to be his next head coach, uh, which would be good for all of us so we don't have to hear J.J. Redick's podcast or his performance on the NBA Finals where he really adds nothing to the broadcast. But I think this could be a certain way of just making it look like they're looking for another candidate rather than just J.J. Redick and, and making it a fait accompli that he's going to be the next coach. Um, you know, could drive the price up a little bit. Look, it's amazing that here we are in the NBA Finals and the Los Angeles Lakers are still kind of at the forefront of news because they're searching for a new head coach. I mean, baseball kind of frowns upon that. Don't, you know, make any changes to your roster. Don't give extensions to star players. Don't hire a manager during the World Series. So apparently in the NBA, that, which is great because I'm a LeBron James fan. But I think LeBron wants J.J. Redick to be head coach of the Los Angeles Lakers. The only thing is, Maybe Jen, uh, Jeannie Buss is saying, look, this is my team. I'm planning more than just the next two years with LeBron James and Bronny James. I want a legitimate coach in Dan Hurley. I don't know how to translate to the NBA. I think it's a great college coach. We've seen many great college coaches. It just doesn't work in the NBA. That's the thing. John Sabachetti here on Rocket Minutes with Jimmy B. John, when you uh, look at this series, I was listening to some of the local stations there in Boston today. And it seems as though I thought for sure I was going to turn on local radio in Boston. It's all, it's a sweep. It's five games. But the consensus from the two stations I was listening to, most of them are six games, seven games. Uh, Where are you at on this? I'm at six games. I'm at six games from the South. That seems to be kind of like, you know, the, I would say, sitting on a picket fence pick, right? Seven games. Now you're saying that that's a flip of coin, especially with Kyrie Irving and Luka Doncic on the other team because those two guys can go get whatever and win games on their own. Five games is kind of disrespectful to the Mavs who've you know, done a great job getting to the finals. Six games makes a lot of sense. And look, when you listen to Sports Talk Radio in Boston, there's a lot of negative uh, comments, not just from the callers, but from the hosts because we're kind of groomed on that, right? There's, that's how you get listeners. You just don't go out there and go, the Celtics are great. This is the greatest Celtics team ever. They're going to sweep the Mavs. Looking forward to the parade in two weeks. That that doesn't really work on sports talk radio, especially in Boston, especially since the city hasn't won a championship in five years. I think people are excited for this, but there's some apprehension that the Celtics, who have been really, really good for the last six, seven years, heck, with the six Eastern Conference Finals in an eight-year period, can they get the job done and get past the finish line and win that vaunted uh, 18th NBA championship? I think I told you guys earlier that if the Celtics don't win this, they are essentially basketball's version of the San Francisco 49ers. Best roster, always in play, go far in the playoffs and just come up short. Now, you can look at the 49ers and say they lost to Patrick Mahomes two years ago. The Celtics lost to Steph Curry. Are they going to lose to Luka Doncic and Kyrie Irving this time around? I don't think so. I think they're more experienced going into this final series. And also, I think their depth is going to be the big difference in this because if we were drafting all the players in this series, you'd probably go Luka, Tatum, Brown, Irving, or Irving Brown. After that, probably the next three players drafted would be Celtics, right? If Porzingis is healthy, he'd be one of those guys. Derek White, Drew Holiday, uh, they're better than the third best player on the Dallas Mavericks. So I think that their depth from three through five is going to be better than Dallas's, and that could be the difference. They have home court advantage, and they have that experience, although, of course, we know Barry Irving is a past champion. So it's going to be a fascinating series, to say the least. John, don't you think that, and to that point, you talk about Drew Holiday, that he's kind of the common denominator to kind of keep everybody calm amongst the storm, that experience you talk about with Milwaukee and how well he's played defensively. He's kind of that guy to kind of bring everybody together in that locker room? 
he's the bizarro Marcus Smart. I mean, Marcus Smart was beloved by the fans, very polarizing player among sports talk show hosts. I, I never really liked him. I thought he was a bit dramatic and over the top and uh, kind of an over the top try hard guy, which I'm never a fan of. Drew Holiday is a complete control. The player I compared Drew Holiday to, and, and Celtic fans love this, is Dennis Johnson, who won two championships here in 1984, 1986, and complete control, great defensive player, can hit the big shots, make the right decision. That's Drew Holiday. Uh, there's a, a, a certain amount of just serenity to his game, whereas with Marcus Smart, there's a lot of chaos, and I think Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown have really reacted well to Drew Holiday, that experience and that calming influence that he brings forth. He could have very easily been the Eastern Conference Finals MVP. He played right at the same level as Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum. All three of those guys were outstanding. I'm with you on that all the way. I'm real curious, your thoughts on Porzingis. Uh, he's been out, what, three, almost four weeks with the calf strain. It's not an easy injury to come back from. Do you expect him to get limited minutes tonight and then try to play his way through as more games are played in the finals? Well, I think obviously the schedule could help because they play tonight and they don't play again until Sunday, then Wednesday, Friday. I mean, if this series goes to seven games, it's going to be June 23rd when it's over. So you can kind of rest him and Al Horford. you got to watch Horford's minutes. Put a lot of minutes in the first three rounds because of the Porzingis injury. I think Porzingis starts tonight because it's easier in that sense. Uh, get him warmed up and warm up. Get him out there and see how the calf reacts. That's always a dangerous injury because we saw Kevin Durant dealing with a calf injury five years ago mm -hmm. in the playoffs, ended up blowing out his Achilles. I mean, it's, sometimes those things are connected. In fact, they're always connected in the body. But um, I think that you maybe limit his minutes to 24, 26 minutes, see how he's doing, see how the game is going. And you also have Horford, you maybe want to limit him to 26, 28, 30 minutes, and you go from there. Dallas has some pretty intriguing bigs, so they may not be able to go, the Celtics may not be able to go with their smaller lineup which has Jason Tatum at the five. That's an explosive lineup offensively, but a little bit undersized. Uh, so we're going to have to just see how Porzingis reacts to this. It's not an injury that you come back that quickly from. And also, let's not forget, this is a seven-foot-three guy who is very mobile. He just doesn't park his rear end in the low post, you know, a la Shaq. This is a guy who, who keeps from 26, 28, 30 feet. He, he's a mobile big man, so you got to obviously – look at that and see how it reacts. All right, so my follow-up then is, how are they going to defend each other in the backcourts? Who's going to get Luka first? Who's going to get Kyrie first? And vice versa. I would think that you have Jalen Brown and Luka Doncic. Jalen Brown has the proper size. I think if you put Drew right. Holiday or Derek White on Luka, uh, then you're giving up too much size. You may not want Jason Tatum on Luka because you may need Jason Tatum to rebound. Let's not forget, Tatum averaged over 10 rebounds a game in the Indiana series. But I think Jalen Brown will check Luka Doncic. And again, you throw different looks at great players like that. You can't just man up them the entire game because, you know, Luka Doncic will figure out how to score. As far as Kyrie Irving, I'm thinking Drew Holiday, but you can also throw Derek White at him a little bit. Uh, and, and I think that those two guys can do a decent job. Look, Luka and Kyrie Irving are maybe the two most skilled guys in the NBA. Not necessarily the two best players, the two most skilled guys in the NBA. They're going to get theirs, and what makes them so dangerous is they're equally great passers as they are scorers, so they can set up a lot of the other Dallas Mavericks for, for key baskets. So that's why this is a tough matchup for any team with Luka and Kyrie Irving playing so well. But I would think Jalen Brown on Luka, and to start with, I would expect Drew Holiday on Kyrie Irving. You know, John, one guy has to get a lot of attention to the head coach, Joe Mazzula. What's the Joe Mazzula factory, if you will, uh, in reference to this series, this finals. I think he's improved greatly as a coach in his second year. Let's not forget, he's a young guy who was thrust into the position like four days before training camp last year. You know, it was like, Ime Doke is the head coach, and then he's not. And, okay, Joe Mazzula, you are the fourth assistant. Now you're the head coach at 34 <laughs> years old. He's really improved. I mean, they just kind of threw him out there, throw him in the deep end of the pool and see if he swims. He had his problems last year, even though the Celtics had the second-best record in the league. They fell to a team they shouldn't have fallen to in the Eastern Conference Finals in the Miami Heat. I think he's greatly improved this year. Uh, and I, I really feel that he's, he's learning on the job. The players like him. They respect him. He's a little bit too married to the three for my liking. I mean, they love the league in three-point attempts. I wish they took less three-point attempts than they do. But look, it produced 64 One wins and a 12-2 and record in the postseason. So who are we to complain? But I think he's really grown as a head coach. 
John, what's your schedule with your podcast? Because uh, obviously, with a lot of lot of Boston fans here in the Valley, and they want to hear, you know, what's going on. Instead of listening to those two stations there in Boston, what can they do? When, when are when are you on? When's the best time? We post them pretty much uh, probably twice a week. So you know, you probably will hear us uh, after Game Two, um, and then probably after Game Four, and, and we go from there. We we're not able really to do it as often as we'd like. But, you know, we'll try to keep up with that schedule and see if the Celtics can get uh, banner number 18 up in the Raptors uh, heading into the fall. John, we always appreciate you. Hope we'll catch up with you next week. Thanks for the time. Absolutely, fellas. You got it. John Sabachetti. You follow him on Twitter, John Sab 25 the pick and roll. Look that up on uh, your podcast uh, with Jet and Snap. That's uh, the podcast with Jet and Snap. Check it out on all your podcast platforms. Uh, he is brought to you today by All City Towing. If you're looking for a career that pays great with great benefits, All City Towing continues to look for people. We talk about it all the time. They need people to join their team. Their fleet is growing. They need all types of people to jump on board. Go to All City Towing and search careers. That's All City Towing, search careers. Well, we need a contestant. We'll do this off the air. Then I'll challenge one of the beautiful Twin Peaks girls here from the Deer Valley location today. It is who, Jax? <laughs> Mariah. 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 As in like Mariah Carey? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you got all red there, dude. You got a big smile. Well, on he's, your face. Ho- he's hoping. Oh, uh, we got yeah, something to talk hoping, about yeah. next. All right. We'll take the fifth caller at 602 260 9191. Play for a $25 Twin Peaks man card. And then uh, some really bad dad jokes. It's oh, Rocket Manu to Jimmy B. Fox Sports 910. A homeowner Claire. just like you hey. decides to fix his roof. Okay. He backs up his truck, ties one end of the rope to the bumper and the other to himself. Smart. He's working on the back side of the roof until. What? Wait, wait, no, 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 no. Yes. Dad was in tow. Ooh, was he hurt? A few bruises and his pride. Save yourself with State 48 Roofing, offering maintenance, repairs, and replacements. Of course, licensed, insured, and bonded. From residential to commercial, state48roofing.com. Do you ever have a case of the Mondays? You won't if you tune in to Rock and Minute with Jimmy B from 1 till 4 as they broadcast live from the CAZ Sportsbook at the CAZ Sports Bar. That's every Monday from Tocito, Arizona. Get ready for double the fun on the 101. Introducing the Salt River Rewards Program at Casino Arizona and Talking Stick Resort, the Valley's newest and best. With multiple tiers and endless benefits, we've got something for everyone. Don't miss out on the excitement. Salt River Rewards, the Valley's premier player rewards program, now at Casino Arizona and Talking Stick Resort. Two properties, one amazing club, offering limitless fun on the 101. Discover the best in the valley at saltriverrewards.com. Over the years, Lerna Rose helped over 150,000 injured people recover billions of dollars for their injuries and over a billion dollars in the last five years alone. What does that mean to you when you're looking for an attorney to handle your personal injury case? That means that Lerner Row is a law firm that not only has experience, but the proven results to recover money for your injuries. The insurance companies know which attorneys won't put up a fight. When you call us, we call them, and they know they have to pay. Lerner and Row is the way to go. Call 977 In this week's marketer's report, Angela Zapata, CMO Hyundai Motor America, discusses measuring audio. The measurement capability with an audio, I think, surprised all of us. We have seen a huge return on our investment. Seeing real numbers has helped us continue to invest. As the number one audio company, iHeartMedia gives marketers access to the data, audiences, and influencers you need to grow. If you're a marketer, go to iHeartResults.com. You sail beyond the horizon in search of an island scrubbed from every map. You battled krakens. You navigated through storms. Your spade struck the lid of a long-lost treasure chest. 